In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a topic that's not commonly discussed, but something I get asked about quite a lot. And that is, should I work out on my period? And that's a valid question because during that time of the month, you experience things like cramps, muscle aches, soreness, fatigue. The last thing you want to do is work out. While rest is important, what a lot of people don't know is that staying active during your period is actually really important for you. In fact, with the right foods and the right exercise, you can stay on track with your fitness goals. So in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips on how I stay fit during my period. So a common misconception that a lot of people have is that you shouldn't exert yourself during your period. And that's true to a certain extent. So if you're someone who experiences like heavy menstrual bleeding, very severe cramps, and you just like cannot leave your house, in those cases, rest is really important to help your body recuperate. But actually, light exercises can help you to alleviate a lot of your period symptoms. So when you exercise, your body releases endorphins, which are also called your happy hormones. When you are feeling menstrual cramps and pains, these endorphins actually act as natural painkillers, which can help to ease your PMS or any kind of like cramps or body aches that you're experiencing. And because they're happy hormones, they also help to elevate your mood. So, you know, if you're feeling very fatigued and lethargic and very sad about life, then this is actually the perfect time for you to be exercising. And endorphins act as a natural muscle relaxant as well so this is why I highly recommend that my clients don't stop working out even during their period. Unfortunately a lot of them do skip out of it. I always get like text messages from them the day before like hey sorry my period just came and I'm thinking like yes but it's not like you have like a business trip to go for it's not like you're sick and I just you know reply with my smiley face and go like I'll see you tomorrow. Not an excuse guys, even if you're on your period, it's not an excuse to skip your workout. While I totally get it, working out on your period can be uncomfortable sometimes, but all you gotta do is just make some minor adjustments. For example, if you're starting out, you can do some light activities like going for a walk or a jog for about 20 to 30 minutes a day. You know, at least you're doing something by walking, you're actually sweating out any water retention you might be having, especially if you're feeling a lot of bloatedness, and it also helps to regulate your blood flow. So if you're a little bit more active, you can try some low volume strength training. And what low volume strength training is, is that you reduce the amount of repetitions that you perform, but you increase the amount of weights that you use. So for example, if you usually do 15 repetitions of 5 kg, then maybe this time try doing about 8 to 10 repetitions at 8 kg. So fun fact, you are actually your strongest during your period because your estrogen levels are at its lowest. Something that I find for myself is that when I'm on my period, I actually lift a lot heavier. And interestingly, I find that my body's recovery is a lot faster. So when I'm not on my period, it might maybe take me two days to recover from a very intense like leg day or something. But you know, when I'm on my period, I actually feel fine the next day. It's pretty magical. It's one of the benefits of, you know, getting your period. I guess that's the saving grace. Another form of exercise that I find very beneficial is yoga. And a lot of the times during your period, you feel a lot of muscle soreness and cramps, especially in your lower back area and your hips. So by doing the yoga poses, you stretch your muscles, reduce any cramps you might be having, and it also helps to loosen up your hips, which might be really tight during this period of time. So sometimes when I wake up, I feel really tense. So here are some stretches that I do to help to reduce the tension in my body and to make me feel a lot better, especially when I'm having cramps. My favorite pose to do is the child's pose. Sit in a kneeling position, lean over with your arms stretched out. Breathe deeply, inhale and exhale. So something that helps me during this exercise is that I visualize my back expanding when I'm inhaling and deflating when I'm exhaling, just like a balloon. It helps to open up your back, stretch your back, especially your lower back area. Another stretch that you can do is the hip opener. So sit up with your legs bent and cross your right ankle over your left knee. You should feel a stretch in your outer thighs and hips. And once you've held this for about 60 seconds, you can switch over to the other side. You can also do side-lying hip openers. Lie down flat, stretch out your arms and make sure that they're always in contact with the bed. Then lift your right knee over your hips, twist your torso to the other side. Really feeling that twist and stretch in your lower back. So you want to make sure that your arms are always in contact with the bed. Something that helps is that you look up to the ceiling and not turn your head around when you twist. This will prevent any kind of overextension that might hurt your spine. Hold that stretch once again for 60 seconds, breathe deeply. Once you're done, you can do the same on the other side. So another troublesome thing about working out on your period is that there's just some logistics that you got to work around. For example, if you have a very heavy flow, then there's a worry that you'll stay in your tights. And sometimes if you're wearing those thick maxi pads, then it can kind of show through your tights like a really thick diaper. 
if you're more comfortable with pants, then I suggest wearing looser shorts. So you can wear things like FBTs, you know, with the inner linings. So at least there's a barrier between your underwear and your shorts. So this is a little bit TMI, but I do like wearing pads during my workouts as well, especially when I do heavy workouts like squats. Because, you know, I don't want to wear a tampon when I'm squatting. Sometimes I feel that, especially on months where my flow is like super heavy, I don't want to like squeeze the squeeze the tampon out so um, it's a bit uncomfortable I much prefer wearing pads and just let it letting like my blood flow out naturally what I do like to do is um, wear those very long 36 cm kind of um, pads so on occasions like that I wear black tights to make sure that my VPL doesn't show and I also you know like to take out my sweat jackets and tie it around my waist so I've heard amazing things about the menstrual cup but I personally have never tried it for myself so if you're someone who's you know trying the menstrual cup or have worked out on the menstrual cup then do leave a comment down below and let me know how you liked it because you know I'm really curious as to how it works and I might consider trying it out for myself so when it comes to food I highly recommend avoiding sugary foods I know that the week before and during your period you just have the most crazy sweet cravings but I just want to tell you that this is probably not the time to binge eat please control yourself because gaining weight is one thing but eating sugary foods can really mess with your blood sugar levels and can make your period symptoms a lot worse. You want to eat foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids because this helps to relax your muscles and reduce inflammation. So you can get omega-3 fatty acids from supplements. I personally take fish oil tablets, but you can also get it from many natural sources like salmon, avocado, flax seeds, pumpkins, and chia seeds. And whether or not you're on your period, it's very important to remember to drink water. I recommend that you drink a minimum of about 2 litres of water a day. I'm a total like water guzzler. I drink a lot of water because firstly, it's like really hot. We live in Singapore. And secondly, because I work out at such a high intensity. So it's very important to hydrate because when you drink water, your muscles also recover a lot faster. And I drink uh, close to about like 4, 5, sometimes even 6 litres of water a day. I carry like two water bottles in my bag because I get very thirsty. Also, a lot of times when you're super hungry, high chances are that you are dehydrated. So drinking water is going to reduce your hunger pangs and to also um, fill you up so that you don't overeat. So that's all I have for this episode. I hope you found it useful uh, to all my ladies out there. I don't know if there are some men who are like watching this video but and who actually found this interesting. Comment down below if you're a guy. I actually want to know who actually watched like the whole thing and actually found this like, interesting. So if you're on your period or you're your periods coming up then I got you with this video and uh, these are just some tips that you can try to work around your period especially if you're on a fitness streak you know and you're on a routine then the last thing you want to do is to let your periods get in the way own your period <laughs> don't let your periods own you thank you all so much for the comments left on the previous episode about our fitness misconceptions uh, it seems that a lot of you are interested in these kind of like educational videos so do leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see in future episodes please remember to click the thumbs up hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you always get a notification every time we post a new video or you can download the click network app to get early access to our videos before they hit youtube take care guys bye